In this video, we're going to show you how to create a scatter plot from your data, calculate the regression line, and then calculate the R squared value. And all of that's going to be done off of the chart features. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to your insert menu, and we're going to insert a chart. And you'll notice that there's some things already labeled in our chart. And I'm going to show you how to get those labels in case that um, they don't show up. Um, and you'll notice that our chart is not a scatter plot. So let's start there. So I'm going to go over here to line chart and um, it gives me some suggestions, but in case those suggestions don't come up, um, I could scroll down and it gives me all different kinds of charts. So I'm going to choose a scatter chart, scatter plot or a scatter chart. So now I've got my data, my, my plots all over the place. Um, and then um, I'm going to go ahead and go to customize and I'm going to let's say I want it that the chart axes and title didn't come up so maybe I want to um, change this right here maybe I want to just say that it's the scoops of ice cream sold I don't care about versus days and I want to edit it that way I can also come in here and double click on it and fix it there ice cream sold from in first 10 days of July. All right, oh, and I lost it, didn't I? So I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna go to edit chart and that menu is this chart editor is gonna pop up again. So if I wanted to, um, let's see, I'm gonna to go to customize again and I'm gonna move my chart title and axis. So if for some reason my axis names didn't pop up, I know that I can get it in here with the, maybe it's with the legend, um, probably with the legend. Oh yes, there it is. And I can type into my horizontal axis what I wanted the name of. Um, and then um, same thing into the vertical axis. And typically you can just double click on it and you'll be able to title that there. All right, then the next thing we want to do is I'm going to hit customize again. I'm going to collapse my chart and axis titles, and I'm going to go to series. And this is where we're going to get our regression line and all that information. And literally, it's like three clicks. So we're going to hit trend line, and then that comes up, and it's going to say linear. And what we're, we're going to work with the linear data, but we could change it to a lot of different um, types of data. And then um, we're going to go down here to label. And the, we're going to say the label is we're going to use the equation. And you'll notice the equation that popped up doesn't say y equals. It's assumed that it's y equals or f of x equals, but it just calculated your equation for you there. And then we need our r squared value in order to tell how good our trend line is. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the r squared value right there. And that's it.